In this video, the TM1638 module is programmed to display a stopwatch with ticking sound. A circuit diagram of the implemented system is shown here. When we press S1 on the TM1638 module, the time will be displayed coming from the DS3231 RTC. Pressing S2 will display the date from the DS3231. Pressing S3 will display the temperature and humidity from the DHT11 sensor. Pressing S4 will display a stopwatch and the buzzer will provide the ticking sound for the stopwatch. At any of these applications, when we press the interrupt button, the application will exit and return to the main screen. In this video, the focus will be on the stopwatch application. The other three applications were explained in my previous videos. And now for a quick demonstration, we press S4 to start the stopwatch application. We press the interrupt button and stop the stopwatch. We press the interrupt button again to go back to the main screen. A quick look at the C++ code, which was mostly explained in my previous uh, videos. Here I will focus on the stopwatch part of the code. Within the loop function, when we press switch 4 on the module, then this function will be called. Within the header file functions and inside function stopwatch, we will calculate the millisecond, the second, and the minute part of the stopwatch. Next, the calculated values of the stopwatch are stored in this array value and then sent to this function to be converted into characters that can be displayed on the TM1638 modules. Then the characters are displayed on the module. Finally, this part of the code provides the ticking sound of the stopwatch. In a future video, more applications will be added to the TM1638 module, such as an FM radio. Thank you for watching.